Detecto's DL Series price computing scales have highly customizable labels and barcodes. This tutorial video will show how to create custom barcodes, load custom images, and how to customize the layout with your custom barcodes and images. There are nine preloaded barcodes provided with the included PC software that comes free with the DL Series scales. Barcodes can be altered and entered from the database drop-down menu. All of the information within the Basic Information tab for each of the nine barcodes are the same. The differences are shown in the Detailed Info tab in the right-hand panel. To create a new barcode, click the Plus tab in the toolbar at the top. It will automatically be assigned a new number and appear below. After making a new barcode, you may alter the name and all of the information that is included in your custom barcode. You may use previous barcodes as examples of what information to include and present in your barcode by duplicating the same settings for your barcode. On the Detail tab, the group number at the top designates how many items might appear in the barcode. It is set standard to six. However, not all six fields need to contain information that will appear in the barcode. All of the pre-existing barcodes have three or less pieces of information shown for each barcode. For each item in the barcode, it is necessary to select the length of the information, the shift factor, and how to handle the overflow of information. The overflow options include not printing, cutting off the print, filling with zero, filling with nine, and extending the information. To use the new barcode for any PLUs, this can be updated in the Print Info tab on the PLU window for each PLU that will use that barcode. When editing a custom label layout, your customized barcode may also be selected for a custom label layout as well. To add logos that will be printed on your labels, select Bitmap Builder from the Tool drop-down menu. A list of empty image slots is displayed on the left side of the window. To add a bitmap image, select the slot number, then select Edit and click Import Image File. Select the image to import and click Open. If there are slots after the inserted image that now say Used in the Size column, this is normal and indicates the file size was larger than one memory slot could hold. Once your images are loaded, Simply close down the window and click Yes in the next message window. The images are now ready to be loaded into the scale and used on a label. There are five preloaded labels available on the scale. All PLUs created directly on the scale or through the software default to specific types of labels. Labels between PLU 1 to 100 and 1000 or more default to print format number one. Labels between 101 to 300 default to print format number two. Labels between 301 to 500 default to print format number three. And labels between 501 to 700 default to print format number four. In order to create a custom label, a good starting point is to modify an existing label. To modify an existing label within the DLX50 PC software, the standard labels from the scale must be imported into the computer software. To do this, insert a USB drive into the scale, press Program 4, 1, and Amend from the scale's keypad. Remove the USB drive from the scale and insert it into a USB port on the PC that has the software utility installed. These labels are located by clicking Database and Print Format from the drop-down menu. From the software, click TMS File. Select the file on the USB drive. Check the Print Format box, select Import, and click Execute. The print formats from the scale can now be viewed through the PC software. The upper left window lists the available labels. All of these preloaded labels cannot be changed through the software. To create a custom label, Either choose a label that has a layout and or size close to your needs and click the Click to Clone One option in the lower right hand window or click the Click to Add New option to start from scratch. For this demonstration, we will clone and modify an existing label. Once a new layout has been chosen, the upper right hand window allows you to change the overall width and height of the label, the type of label you are making, and the name of your label. 
For our custom label, we will leave the number as it was automatically assigned, give the new layout a name, and modify the dimensions of our label to be taller than the original label. The lower left-hand window has a list of the items on the label, and the center window shows a preview of the label layout. If you click on any of the items on the lower left panel or the center window, the lower right-hand property window will change to show the properties for each item. The right-hand window includes the item name, horizontal and vertical position on the label, width and height, a print option drop-down, an angle drop-down menu, a font drop-down menu, and a Snap 2 drop-down menu. The dotted drop box offers the same selections as the Snap 2 drop-down menu. Multiple items may be moved simultaneously by holding down the Shift key while selecting items and moving items in the center window. Last, we will select the previously loaded custom barcode and bitmap image to our label. The position, width, and height can be altered directly in the center preview window. All other alterations can be accomplished from this lower right-hand window. For more information about the DL Series scales, visit us online at www.detecto.com or call us toll-free at 800-641-2008.